Carolyn Greenwood is a wedding officiant in Manzanita. Her business, Oregon Beach Ceremonies, helps people navigate the tricky stuff. Understanding the permitting process and where to go to to get a permit. If you want a wedding at the beach in Oregon, you need a permit for more than 50 people. Or if you're setting up any stuff that doesn't occur in nature. Rental chairs or tables. But during COVID, the state has another hurdle. The challenge is that they're not issuing permits right now. <laughs> Oregon is only taking permit applications for events after July 1st. It's really important for us to work together to support health of everybody. Chris Havel works for the Oregon Parks and Recreation Department. His office saw a bunch of layoffs last year and is now getting back up to speed. We have a lot of work that we normally would have done in the off season last year that we weren't able to do. So staff are really hard pressed to get all of that work done. But ultimately, the permit delay is to prevent the spread of COVID. Where are you at along with other wedding vendors trying to sort through this? It's frustrating on both sides. You know, I can see it from a person who lives out here too. There's just been such an influx of tourism out here because I think people want a place to congregate. We are still where we were last year. That's how I see it. So Sadie McIntyre owns the company Various yeah. Events in Portland and has more than 20 years of wedding planning experience. She says couples are in a bind. They just suddenly realized, OK, we're not going to get to have the wedding we wanted right now. Let's do something small. And that's her suggestion to get around the beach permit issue. Keep it small and without setup. I have suggested to all my couples, get married, get married on time. Even if it looks different than you planned, you can always do a celebration down the road. The state knows people are anxious for the bigger events. But patience, kindness, and sort of respect in the rules, uh, it's an important way for us to get through this season. And to protect public health. A security risk, you know, to have that many people. Galen Etlin, KGW News.